what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so there's a lot of buzz going on right now with uh the after aftermath of what happened at uh this year's SummerSlam, and one of the biggest things and probably the biggest talking point right now storyline wise and people's interest wise is jimmy uso turning on his brother jay during the main event of SummerSlam last night between roman and jay for in tribal combat to see who was going to be the wwe undisputed universal champion obviously roman retained which a lot of us expected but we didn't really expect well some of us didn't expect jimmy to turn and uh it's it's kind of actually from what i've seen just on social media as a lot of people confused some people feel like they understand why it happened like it makes sense and then there's uh, other individuals including myself that are just kind of confused on what's going on here so i want to show y'all this tweet real quick i want to show y'all this tweet real quick let me do this this is on my uh twitter i saw this on my feed so follow me on twitter if you haven't already if you see this tweet it says as of now roman reigns is not being advertised for any wwe tv ep episodes over the next few months and i responded uh to this tweet and as I said in my recent video, Roman's going to be gone for a while, which is why we have this Jimmy versus Jay feud going on. It's only happening to kill time until Roman returns. And that's kind of what I was talking about um, on my thoughts and opinions video for uh, this year's SummerSlam. The rumors have been going on since earlier this year that after SummerSlam, Roman is going to be gone for a while and we probably won't see him back towards maybe towards close to the you know maybe end of the year or you know saying a few months after that uh well a few months before the end of the year i'm not sure when he's possibly going to return but he's going to be you know going to be gone for a while so you can kind of tell how this feud has been you know i guess you can say picked up um because right now roman doesn't have no one to face outside of what we saw with jay and they're not doing anything with Solo yet. And I think it's a little bit too soon to even try to have him go for the title. They don't have nobody else. They legitimately have nobody else. And this was always going to be my issue with this title reign this year. Because you have to stretch it out all the way to, um, to next year's WrestleMania. So how do you do that? Well, granted, they have been doing a good job with this whole bloodline fracturing and falling apart story. But now it's gotten to the point where for them, since Roman is, you know, taking a little bit of a break or whatnot, they're going to go with this Jimmy and Jay as the main focus point right now. Because honestly, this it involves the bloodline, but now it's, it's beef between them. And I, I just feel like, Yes, they have been planting the seeds that maybe Jimmy would turn or whatnot. But I just think, me personally, I think it's kind of lazy uh, on the on the booking side of things. Because it's like, you're only doing this because Roman is not doing anything for the next few months. So the only reason why we're getting this Jimmy versus Jay feud right now, because they have nothing else that can fill that void. Now, granted, I'm not saying that the feud can't be good. I, I think people have... At some point, wanted to see a Jimmy versus Jay, brother versus brother. A few WWE's done it plenty of times, but I think if they were gonna do it, I would have preferred them to set this up for WrestleMania. This is a WrestleMania worthy feud. Imagine the story you can tell if they were able to set it up for WrestleMania. Last year's WrestleMania, you guys had the championship. Y'all was the longest reigning tag team champions of all time. You lost to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And that's when things started to fall apart for you guys, you know. And now this year's WrestleMania, well, this upcoming year's WrestleMania, now you guys are feuding with each other. That's a that's an amazing you can that's an amazing story right there. You can build a great promo package off of that. Everything started to fall apart when they lost the titles. Now at this year's WrestleMania, they're fighting each other. You know, and you could have told that story if you were to do it. Me personally, I don't think. They needed to, um, they needed to, you know, split them up on, on, only because, you know, I just, we've seen this story before with the, 
you know, the tag team and they finally split it up or the brothers and one of the brothers turn on the other brother. It's it's an easy story to tell. I just don't think it was needed, at least right now. Um, I do think they still need some tag teams. Obviously, they've been uh, doing, you know, this has been all about the bloodline stuff. So they haven't really been focused on tag team uh, wrestling for the most part, like tag team gold. But nevertheless, you know, the WWE still needs some tag teams. And, you know, this kind of, you kind of just take out one of your best tag teams on your roster, you know, to set up this few that really, I mean, it's, it's kind of plain as day. They're only using this few to extend Roman Reigns title, uh, title reign. Since he's not going to be there, he's not fighting anybody. This feud is there to as a placeholder. And once again, like I said, it could be fantastic. And I, I think it, it it will be good. The question is, you know, will the fans be still as interested when it's all said and done? And once again, I, I know people want to see what's Jimmy's excuse for this. And I think people are going to tune in to see why Jimmy did what he did. So they got some intrigue there and hopefully it makes sense. But at the same time, it's still kind of hard to make sense because for the life of me, it's just all of a sudden now he's jealous of the guy that legitimately he helped turn on his own family. <laughs> so that's why it's like you 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 help turn him on his own family, then your own family beats you up, and now he's fighting for you in your honor, and now you turn on him because he's fighting for the championship. What else was he gonna fight for? I'm not, I'm gonna fight. I'm going to fight you for my brother, but I'm not going to try to take the championship from you. That makes no sense. Like I said, they've been, yeah, you can say, oh, they've been teasing Jimmy being jealous, but it's like they could have did that at some other point. They, because honestly, you could build that story off of Jay just being main event Jay. It's really took, it's really took it off. Last night, Jay was the guy. He, he, he showed why he deserved to be in the main event last night. It was fantastic to see him main event with Roman Reigns at one of the biggest shows uh, for WWE at SummerSlam. So you could build that story without, you know, the implications of him trying to, you know, go for the title. You can build that up as Jay's getting all this attention and love while Jimmy's kind of sitting in the back seat. You could have Jimmy come back, still, you know have love for his brother all this other stuff they do what they got to do without the bloodline or whatever the case may be and then over time you can see jimmy's dissension because everyone's coming to jay now everybody wants to talk to jay now you could have did that but this just comes so abruptly after the guy's been beaten up and off tv for a few weeks and now all of a sudden he got smoke with his bro the only way for me that I think this feud can be salvaged or it could, you know, be enhanced if since they're going with the brother versus brother, they have to have their dad involved. And and Solo needs to be involved too. Obviously, Solo's gonna be there. So their dad needs to be involved in this. Rikishi now needs to be inserted in this feud. And what they could do if you have Rikishi inserted in this feud and he finally gets everybody together on one page even solo starts to realize what's going on and then when roman comes back or whatnot he sees what rikishi has done or whatever he's not liking it and maybe he he attacks rikishi man maybe solo snaps then that's the only in my opinion that's the only way this could possibly hold fans over until roman comes back you have to insert their father in this feud because it makes sense and he's been tweeting about it for months your sons are literally fighting each other and roman is just chilling as a tribal chief he's not even trying to make things right roman is just chilling as long as he's champ he, their father definitely needs to step into this you know just to enhance this story to make people actually really care even more and you know <clears throat> maybe it can make some believability on why jimmy decided to turn on his brother so me personally i am still kind of confused on this this turn of events it kind of still doesn't make sense you can stretch it out plausibly you know for it to make sense if you really wanted to but at the same time just this character change all of a sudden is it's 
it comes off as lazy booking. But they can salvage it if they really tell a good story and they really get people invested. And if they're able to get Rikishi in the mix, which I think he deserves to be in the mix since these are his children. He knows about the business. He's part of the family. I think that would be fantastic. And it could definitely, like I said, hold time over until Roman comes back. Because honestly, this is what this feud is for. Because Roman's going to be gone for a while. That's why this is happening the way it is, in my opinion. So comment down below. Let me know. Are you guys looking forward to the Jimmy and Jay feud that's going to be happening for a while? Do you guys think Rikishi should be involved? And do you guys think it's lazy booking for Jimmy all of a sudden to turn heel? Do you feel like... That's justified in what he did to Jay last night at SummerSlam. I want to get y'all thoughts and opinions on this. It's going to be very interesting to see what they do. Appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on the channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still here on the speed of YouTube Wrestling Champion of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.